Welcome and thank you for tuning in for another um, fishing day with uh, Cousin Fishing and Kayak Adventures. I'm here in uh, Shoreham. I'm launching first time from uh, uh, the Church of Good Shepherd, uh, which is a little bit west to the usual launching. I'm in. I had a little bit issues with the parking because you can't park on the yellow line and all the bays are taken so I need to go to the car park of Whitewater and uh, to leave the car I can run back and uh, yeah so um, what we're going to do today I have a little bit of bait I have a little bit of lures I'm going to try the first uh, mark that I have here and see if I can uh, throw anything or catch any bass or any mackerel and then maybe I will add in sorry I will add out it was supposed to be dead calm I have no idea why it's so windy, but it's supposed to die off according to the weather uh, forecast. So let's see. I hope you can hear me. I'm not with my uh, usual uh, audio setup. I'm with uh, media mode with uh, the GoPro 9. And I have here another GoPro 9 on my head this time. I don't take any chances. And where is it? This one is one uh, mount. The other mount, the head strap, is tied to the... Uh, PFD so if like it happened before in the video when I cast and the strap fell with the camera even if it's gonna fall now if the camera won't break on something it's still going to stay on me look what I got here this sieve uh, I'm not sure what it is, but it looks like a Pollock. For me it's a Pollock. Now, this is for, uh, although it's the smallest uh, fish I ever caught, this is for uh, Sasik uh, Slum 2022. Uh, this is definitely Pollock, baby Pollock. If you can see the lateral line of it, uh, took the little uh, Sabiki and saved the blank. <laughs> Unbelievable, yeah. If I can show it again, I'll show it again. Yeah, Pollock. So, Sussex Slam 2022. Okay, heading out um, to the wreck, I have a little bit more than three. Kilometer. Tons of bait fish here jumping. I don't know what it is, but ton of them. I'm by the wreck. Of course, my lure is completely weedy. weedy. So I was uh, adding to uh, the mark and a huge bait ball just next to me. But I drifted away from it. Um, I had one small take and that's it. Didn't took up. Yeah, so they are not here. Huh? I need to position myself again. Position myself. See if that's gonna work. I'm not sure. This is one. This is two. Thank you. 
there are a lot of mackerel down there. Yeah, a lot of them. A lot of mackerel down there. Jumbo, nice mackerel. Plenty of them. Yeah. But we sorted bait. On the fall already. Oh, so many of them. Lost it. Oh, it's a lot of mackerel. A lot of mackerel in there. There are a lot of mackerel here, but they made a mess, and I'm sure I have water on my lenses. <laughs> okay. This is the okay. So I'm drifting on the wreck. I will have to probably anchor because the wind is too much. Uh, it will be a lot of work, but the mackerel are killing the lure. I changed to the slow jig, slow, uh, yeah, slow jig. drifting very fast so I will have probably to anchor I just need to figure out how to anchor it's only mackerel but they're on the wrecks so if they're on the wrecks if I'll anchor and use them I might get uh, something decent They are big for live bait, a bit big, but they are still fresh. It's only mackerel. No, this one is not. This one is spouting. Golden... Golden pout. Okay. So, Pout Seat is still active. And the Pout. Good one. It went into the into the wreck, I'm sure it was. And uh, it's probably a good party. Go for start recording! <laughs> okay. So I just anchored straight on the wreck. I am probably 20 foot from the wreck. Um, the buoy is, as you see, in front of me and the wreck is in between. So I hope I'm going to settle here and uh, 
release enough uh, line. I might need to uh, unhook uh, myself from the buoy, go and release some line for the buoy there and come back. We'll see how it goes. But in any case, that's good because I can uh, either drift, I mean, I can drift and uh, disconnect myself from the buoy and drift and jig if I want, or I can just uh, uh, fish on the, on the anchor. So let's start. Okay. So I should start with what? I should start with uh, maybe a fresh mackerel. Throw that. Like that. Okay. So this son of a gun snugged me, probably in the wreck, and the lead gone. I was uh, stuck with the lead. I had bite as it hit the water, straight away. And uh, yeah, but I lost the lead. Let's see if it is, because it can snug me with something big. the murky and yeah, I got snagged yeah I need to I think I lost it I have something here what is it no I lost it. Yeah. See? Okay. So I have uh, small bites on the mackerel, uh, the whole mackerel, but uh, straight away the uh, bites here on the squid and lug. But I think it's the same thing, it's either pouting or mackerel that, uh, as you can see it here. So, okay. pouting and pouting and pouting. Another jumbo pouting. So these are bigger, yeah? And this is even a bit bigger. They're not huge, but they're nicer pouting. Uh, but the same thing now on the mackerel here, because it's a big bait, the pouting, nicking it, the pouting, the mackerel. So I want a conger just for the slum, and uh, usually I don't want a conger just for the slum or a taupe for the fun but uh, yeah nothing really happened on the on this rod yeah, it's the same stuff it's the small bite on a, a big bait I've got a bream here nice bream not bad Massive, but we'll do. Let's give a whole squid a shot. See how it goes. 
on that little road. He doesn't even second in the water when I have bites. Bream, uh, what else? Out. And the bream. GoPro stop recording. GoPro stop recording. Taking a leak. It has to come. It's on a small joy mackerel. Um, I changed the hook from the top hook from the hot from the eight or ten hot whatever it was to something smaller, maybe three or four. Yeah, that's probably parting. Just a better one. Yes. Retrieve it. No, it's actually something in the it's brim. Look the brim got I got the brim like far too. I understand that. So I'm going to connect myself back to the to the anchor because I went to uh release the jig that got in the other buoy and then I realized that actually what I thought is the wreck in front of me was actually to my left so now I know exactly where it is uh, so now let's see if I can anchor without drifting I thought it's there, right? Uh, but actually, <laughs> I realized it's actually closer to me and it's here. So really direct compared to my buoy and the one that I marked for direct, basically here, not there. But in any case, let's see if I can pick anything on the jig. I'll try a little bit with bait and I'll start to drift back. Yeah, like that. I'll give it a little bit of elastic. Let's see if we can pick anything. Now the problem is the small fish, the bream, nicked it straight away. So they nick, it, they nick it straight away, and that's the problem. You can't hold it too much in the water because they just they just damage it straight away. But let's see. Those are nicking the bait in and out all the time. Another uh, brim, but it's a better one. If it's a brim, it's a better brim. No, it's a conger. <laughs> it's a conger, and I have a conger for the slump. Conger for the sun. Yeah. 
I was on the wreck and the conger came, as I said. Okay. Conger, Sussex Lamb 2022. They're impossible, but with longer, that's nice. Jumbo! Jumbo! So that's it, thank you for tuning in and uh, checking the video, like, subscribe, share and uh, see you next time, custom fishing and kayak adventure, bye bye. Rolling in. Okay. Another nice marker. Where is the uh, white water uh, car park? This building? Okay, so I need to, I launched from there. I just lost my uh, navigation. And also my phone died on me. So, <laughs> yeah, so I couldn't, uh, I, I mean, I was on the, in the area, but I couldn't figure it out. Okay. Yeah, I launch. I launch a little bit because I didn't have parking spot, so I launch a little bit uh, right to it. Oh, you and, up towards and, and the I church? Park, and I parked in the uh, in the white water. Okay. So I need to launch the kayak on the beach a bit uh, before it, and then to go to bring the car. Okay. So you're saying it's there, right? The car park is right behind those beach huts.